A very good welcome to you to the Adama Science and Technology University. The Adama fans haven't come in the largest of numbers, although the game is for their home team playing in their hometown. The Adama side have not won in five matches that they have played recently. They have drawn four of them and have lost one of them. They will be playing uh, a team that uh, is fighting to get out of the relegation zone. They are the Sababa Ketema side. The shot going directly at the goalkeeper. Seemed to have started a little bit late to punch that out. And uh, almost looked like he was not going to lash out on time. Actually, it looks like his hands left a little bit late there as he pushes the ball over the back. Yes, as the ball rolls over the wall, you can see the goalkeeper saw the ball very, very late. He was already moving to his left. Oh, they lose this one. Rich Moda, don't go! He's got in the easiest of chances this time round. And uh, just hesitant to get into the box there. Oh, that was a miscued kick totally, wasn't it, Peter? Yes, that was, in fact, very wrong of anybody to pass the ball across his own goal. But Richman Adongle trying went for the placement and didn't get it quite right technically. And it goes over the bar. This is a cross now. A chance for Richmond Adongo takes a heavy shot. Oh, this is a chance for Adongo. Went for a volley and went for the spectacular, didn't he, Peter? Yes, he had the chance, he had the time, but all the same, going for the volley from such a distance will never, ever put power behind the ball. It's a chance here, clear of the line that was coming for Fitzum Tillahun. And uh, Jamal Tassel was already getting for, ready for a difficult situation there, clear off the line. That was one perfect say. piece of defending. Just in the nick of time there. By the corner. This one goes directly towards goal, parried off by goalkeeper Daniel Tishome. Uh, Milan Solomon and tries to compound things there. Not badly taken, Peter. Very well taken, and he chose the most difficult angle. He went for the low corner of his near post. Very difficult for the goalkeeper to travel and be able to reach there on time. Very difficult to handle. Now, this has stops it for Ame Mohamed, who's taken flight. He's got one man up in front. Gets a through ball to him. The flag stays down. This uh, just misses by inches. And I think now the flag stays up then. Darotesa was busy reacting to it. Amy Mohamed puts him through. Uh, the flag goes up and he didn't even touch the ball correctly then. He knew about the offside. He was just play acting there. But he knew very well whatever was going on. But still they wouldn't have scored. See the pass. This is Daro Tessa, he's got Abdissa Jamal running on the left side. Well, almost gives him a very bad pass here. Is the cross again here, chest it down. And a shot into the net. I think the flag was up for offside. It will not count. Well, the flag was already up, so it's not going to be counting that one. We got another chance to see it. Hmm, yeah, just a foot there on the VR that would be very clear on, uh, on uh, Emma Mohamed. Well, they've picked it up, and again, a chip to bring it to the center here, looking for a chance to strike, it's too late. They're appealing for a handball, while well, they have the ball in the box. Wasenu Ali is not noticing Ami Mohamed, very close to him. Wasenu then chips it back. Uh, yeah, it's probably the last chance of it going towards goal that is taken by Daniel Tishome. They will ask themselves what went wrong with that, why they didn't finish it from there, why it took so long to strike. And Ami Mohamed will have no answer for it, Peter. Even actually thought he controlled it with his arm. But all the same, you cannot miss your chances and cry to the referee. Should have taken your chances. I think they missed so many chances in this one. They have absolutely no one to blame. Adi Sababa, Neil and Adama Neil at full time.